Okay, so welcome back my friends to a brand new episode on the channel. My name is General Tony and welcome to my General Tiny account. Well, I just realized we've got a Christmas tree right in the middle of the lava walls, guys. So today is going to be a very special episode because this, my friends, is the start of the series Rushed to Max. For those of you that are new to the channel and haven't yet subscribed, this is my extremely rushed Town Hall level 13 base guys, we're actually upgrading to level 2 right now and over the next 12 months, by the end of 2020, so just over a year, I would like to max out this entire base and be Town Hall 13 100% maxed out guys. The question then remains, is that even possible? Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below in that comment section guys, but let's start right here in this episode today with episode number one of this insane series. So what we're gonna be doing, we're not gonna be doing loads of gemming on this account, we're pretty much gonna farm most of it up, but if there are some cool special offers inside of the store, then we will be purchasing them once every couple of weeks or once every month, guys. So in today's episode, episode number one, we are only gonna be buying Lucky 13, and everything must go because those two offers are pretty damn good and they should help me in getting some new upgrades done in this base. So let's start by getting lucky number 13 then we're gonna get everything must go guys and we will continue with the rest of the episode. Let's uh, let's see what we can upgrade using these special offers. Okay, so there we go guys. That is gonna take us straight to 15 million gold. Let's go straight back into the store and let's get everything must go. And here we go, a book of everything and a book of building for $2.99. Okay, so special offers have now been received and I've got a question for you, my subscribers. Do you think we made a mistake coming to Town Hall 13 and starting this series or do you think we're going to be able to max this base in the next year, guys? Was it a big mistake coming to Town Hall 13? Should I stay at Town Hall level 12? I don't really know, guys. All I know is Town Hall 13 is a lot more fun. So let's start by getting some upgrades done. First thing we want to do is let's see what we've got in our gold pass. Okay, I've already got maxed out Golden Elixir and Dark Elixir, which is crazy because I haven't played this account for about a week. And we've only got a book of spells left inside of the gold season guys so let's see what magic items we've got a rune of dark elixir one book of everything three book of building and a book of spells okay so we've got no builders free let's go over to the largest upgrade guys and let's use a book of building and that believe it or not is going to be my first maxed level army camp the other three army camps are also upgrading guys let's grab that training potion as well Let's remove some of these bushes and the gem box and let's get ourselves into some extra upgrades. Okay, how are we going to do this? Where do I even start, guys? I'm kind of feeling to get the Royal Champion up to level 5. I feel like that would be really helpful and maybe it will allow me to max out this base quicker, guys. So, let's check it out. Well, 104,000 Dark Elixir. Okay, I thought it was going to be a lot cheaper than that, guys. But clearly, she's an expensive hero. So we're not going to be upgrading you just yet. Let's check what's in the laboratory. Nothing. Okay, I've got a good idea, guys. We have got ourselves a Rune of Dark Elixir. So I'm going to try and get rid of the Dark Elixir we've got in our army camps. Sorry, in our storages right now. And then we're going to use the Rune of Dark Elixir and do a couple of hero upgrades, guys. So what options do we have? We could almost upgrade the golems. Do we have anything in the treasury? Let me check. No. Okay, so let's go for the Valkyrie upgrade, guys. Okay, so check this out, guys. Unfortunately, I don't know why I'm so happy still, but unfortunately, all my footage corrupted after that one second, and I didn't get to show you what upgrades we actually done. So let me just briefly run over what we done in the 10 minutes of footage that did get corrupted. So... We did upgrade the Royal Champion, she is going to the next level, and it is going to be only 18 hours left on the upgrade guys, so I suppose that is pretty good. Then what we done, I think we, what did we do guys, we upgraded the Valkyries inside of the lab, 3 days, 3 hours left on the Valkyrie upgrade, so we got those done. 
And I think we also upgraded, and this is the crazy part, guys. I used a lot of magic items, and I got my town hall to level 3. So if we upgrade the weapon again, it will go to level 4. And then it's only one level away from being a max level 5 Giga Inferno, which is crazy. Because on my main village, guys, I've only got a level 1 Giga Inferno. And then on my second village, I've only got a level 1 Giga Inferno. And this is my worst village. This is my third village. And it's going to be the first one to max out the Giga, Giga Inferno. So that's also what we upgraded. And I think we gemmed the army camp. And I think that was about it, guys. So that takes us to a total of only 8,000 Dark Elixir. We do have about 4 million gold, but we can't really spend it on absolutely anything, guys. And if we go to our builders, you can see they aren't going to be coming back. We've got one builder coming back, the Royal Champion. But as soon as she comes back, we're probably going to upgrade her straight to level 3, guys. Oh, damn. And one more thing. I also upgraded the Archer Queen to level 36. So we literally done so many upgrades in that little bit of footage that did corrupt. And that's going to leave me with just a king and a grand warden. And we've got our army in our camp. So let's get ourselves into some live attacks. Let's see if we can actually farm up without using a queen or a grand warden. Sorry, or a royal champion at town hall 13, guys. Okay. So this is going to prove to me, did I make a huge mistake? Is it a bad idea to go to town hall 13 and rush your entire base? Well, let's find out. Let's see what kind of bases it's going to give me. You can see it's showing a lot of Town Hall 13s already, guys. Wow, that's the third one. Um, This dude's base is terrible as well, so let's see what else we can find. Okay, these these are actually got a lot of money in them, which is surprising. So let's take on one of the next bases, guys. Let's see if we can find something pretty damn expensive, as in it's got a lot of loot inside of it. And we'll see if we can wipe it out for a two-star. Maybe get a three star once the royal champion and the queen do come back. Okay Let's just see if we can one star this base guys that this is gonna be a good You know measurement of how strong our troops and spells are compared to other bases So I'm gonna start with the electro dragon I'm gonna rage up this electro guys remember it's only level two They do now go up to level four, but we're only gonna see if we can get a one star just to see if I am strong enough to get a one star against these bases, guys. Now, I'm not going to lie. I'm not really expecting a one star. Let's rage up the Electro Dragon again, guys. It's going to take us up to 11%. Okay. And now what we're going to do is I'm going to use the real champion with the healers to take out all those builders. And we'll try and clutch some of the other buildings. As that is going on, we're going to get the baby dragon. Let's just check the eagle, guys. It is waking up, so we need to be careful. Let's allow these troops now to do some damage. And we'll see where we go from there. So, Grand Warden's going to take us up to almost 20% total damage already, which is pretty damn good. But we do need to get to that 50% mark, because there is no way we are reaching the town hall. The baby dragon's going to go down. Can we drop in another one? Yes, we can. Eagle Artillery is still asleep, guys. This is scary, though. Pretty scary. Let's see if we can clutch some of these buildings. Nope. What about that? Eagle's still asleep. We did get that building, guys. Can I grab this army camp? No? Okay. And I think we're going to probably leave it there. We're not going to drop in any more troops now. We're going to wait for these troops to take out some buildings. And we're going to come in for a full-scale attack, guys. From this side of the base over here. Because there are a lot of troops over there. And a lot of defenses. There are heroes. But there's also a lot of buildings. So it's going to give us a good chance. Of getting that two star guys. Here we go. All the giants are going to go down. I'm going to drop in the king. I'm going to go for a double rage. Wizards on the back. Hopefully we're going to be able to take out that royal champion quick. There goes the war wrecker. And I'm going to use the baby dragon. On the other side guys. We're going to go with the king's ability. We're already up to 37% damage. Oh, wow. Here comes a horde of balloons. I wasn't expecting that, guys. 41%. Can we get a little bit higher? That would be awesome. Here we go. Minions are going to take out the army camp, guys. Maybe there goes the Grand Warden's ability. And as you can see, there is a potential. We have made a big mistake, guys, because we couldn't even one-star that base. But... 
I didn't have my queen, I didn't have the royal champion, and the attack strategy wasn't really that good, guys. But we're going to leave this episode here. We're probably going to do one video every couple of days on this account as we begin to max out and upgrade things in the base. And as we go throughout 2020, we will try our best, guys, to save my Town Hall 13 and get it upgraded to max level.